Hello, I'm Wally. Hello, everyone. I'm Dejan. And you're listening to Fox Sports 1340 AM, Hopewell, Virginia's Washington Mystics postgame show. The Washington Mystics beat the Indiana Fever 88 to 70. This game was highlighted by, by Della Don scoring 25 points in this game. She went ham. She was unbelievable from three. Yeah, her return was well anticipated, and, and she did great for the team uh, throughout the game. She started off a little bit slow there in the beginning, getting her feet back under, getting her feet wet in the game again. But by the second half, she was primed, well old machine, ready to go. And we expect her to, to drop buckets. She's the star of this team. She's the face of this franchise right now. But someone who, who stood out that I didn't expect was Crystal Thomas. Um, I look, I'm calling her a shero of the game. You know yeah, what I mean? she She's, definitely was the shero. She of the game. She scored 14 points and had 14 rebounds. A uh, matter of fact, she talked about her, her focus on rebounding this game. Uh, just rebounding and uh, in doing scouting and watching film, I saw that there was a little bit of void on their team when it came to rebounding, and that's something that I needed to personally improve um, because one of my biggest roles on this team is to rebound. So taking both of them together, I just want, made it a focus to get to the glass as often as I could uh, tonight, and it was fortunately a paid off. Thank you. And did you see anything? I mean, you're talking about you, you watched tape. Did you see anything with the high screen roll? Seems like you had a lot of easy looks from the high screen roll. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I stayed moving, make sure I wasn't standing on the weak side, that I was being active and um, being aggressive when I was on the floor. Now I know when we were watching this game, we both said to said, we said to each other like, the Mystics are just flat out bigger than this, bigger, bigger than the Indiana Fever. Yes. Uh, what, what were your thoughts? I want you to say what, exactly what you were saying when we were watching this game. Well. Even more so than just Thomas having 14 rebounds, mm -hmm. uh, the team out out rebounded the Indiana Fever, uh, 43 to 23. Amazing. So 20 rebound Amazing. advantage, mm -hmm. and 15 of which came on just the offensive glass alone. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of extra baskets on the offensive mm -hmm. end, which led to a lot of second chance points throughout the entirety of the game. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, to me, like just watching it, they they were bigger, like, and they played physical. They played played with more physical brand. It was more like, okay, you know what? We had a bad outing against the Minnesota Lynx on yeah. Friday, a yeah. bad outing. And it was more like on get back, to be honest with you. And I like what Thomas said. She said that she was playing today's game as if she was playing Minnesota, which, which is very impressive to me. It shows that, you know what, you have a hunger to be better. You have a hunger to be the best. And she showed that. And also what I thought a cool thing about this game was that we're in a DMV, all right? This right. Is, we're in D.C., but we're in a DMV, right. and DMV he represents Maryland as well. Uh, you had – uh, Marissa Coleman come back to this area, an area she won the national championship for the University of Maryland women's basketball team in, in 06. And I think that's, that's, that's the cool thing. And she, she was drafted by the same Mystics team. I mean, you can't, it doesn't get any better than that. And also, you, if you want to put, that, put something else in the pot, her teammate Tolliver, when she played in Maryland, they both won the national championship. I'm talking about Christy Tolliver. When, Christy they, won Tolliver, the yes. when they won the national championship, she got to play against her. So, you know, she talked about that, that playing with it, playing under those conditions, and the cool thing about reminiscing about Maryland. So, how's it feel, you know, being back home? Anytime you see, like, Christy, it reminds you of, like, 2005. 2006. 2006. No. You know, 2005, 2005, 2006. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just always good to be home and play in front of family and friends. And I, I get to see KT a few times throughout the year when we talk, so it's always good to reconnect. What's special about that season to you? I'm sorry? What's special for, about that season, other than winning the national championship, uh, obviously? I think the thing that I always remember and appreciate the, the most from not only that year, but my times in Maryland, just the relationships I made and the, and the people that, um, you know, became family. I still talk to them. Literally everybody from that team, from the port staff to, to the managers to the players. So that's something that's rare. It doesn't happen often. And to, to have that is definitely something I cherish. And also playing against a team that drafted you. How is that? Is that weird? Is that a weird feeling for you? Not really. Huh? I mean, it's been so long ago now that I've kind of, I've kind of moved on from that chapter. So I am more so just when I get here, it's just fun to play in front of my family and friends. Right. Right now, the Washington Mystics are 7-3. and three. Up next, they have the Dallas Wings. Hopefully, this team go 8-3. and three. Yeah, in order to do so, they're going to have to continue to build on what they did tonight, which is defensive rebound, offensive rebound, defensive intensity, and utilize their size. They have Atlanta Deladon, the small forward at 6'5". Mm -hmm. There's centers on other teams that's not that big. So <laughs> they're going to have to continue to do what they did tonight to get that win. All right, well, you've been listening to the Fox Sports 1340 AM, Hopewell, Virginia's Washington Mystics postgame show. I'm Wally. And I'm Dejan. And we're signing off. Deuces.